So CR Droid is also here with the latest version 10.4 based on the latest security patch which is April 2024 and of course based on QPR2. A lot of custom rooms are coming right now with the latest update so here we have this. There was a gap between uh, the new update and the previous update because of the latest QPR2 update but now things are going well and things are available for you. Moving into the things which are included in CR Droid, of course, you know, it is one of those customization focused custom rooms. It's quite old, quite popular and still updating with almost every month updates. We have the Launcher 3 pre-installed, although yes, with QPR 2 updates, some things are changed, but still it's good enough that we have Launcher 3 based Launcher pre-installed. So yes, you have all the customizations, what you were looking forward to like themed icons in app drawer also the recent panel is here which you can customize by enabling some options there another thing is hidden and protected apps feature it's present here so you can use this thing one thing keep in mind it's not available in the settings app so if you change launcher you will not be able to use app locker by any chance we will talk about that later on this is the recent panel as you can see so yes things are basically same like the previous one which we have in in this custom room too which is by default also in the quick settings panel we have the separate wi-fi and mobile data tiles available which is good you can use it because it's quite useful especially as i am a pixel device user in my device by default in pixel which is a pixel device pre-installed of course the software is pre-installed the default pixel experience kind of things so yes i need this thing because after using c Android, it's good we have the gallery app which is now updated with the latest glimpse i guess this is the name of this gallery app and it's already available in lineage os 21 so as in cr droid 2 you can use cr droid and you can use this new gallery i don't have any images or uh, videos to show you unfortunately but this is what we have also the default camera app is also updated here a virtual camera is already there but things are now updating with this new update because we do not have any major change the major change was in the back end but in the front end in the visual changes you will not get any major but we have some a lot of fixes for example new camera app new gallery app the camera app is actually not literally new but some features are improve, improved here we have the video stabilization option and also the video mirroring option as far as I, as I know in the previous update this thing was not available there but yes aperture camera is quite lightweight but it's good enough i think so purchase camera is also available for some other devices too you can install it as an apk file we'll talk about that later on too these are some amazing things but move before moving further let's find out this app this is summary you so you can create summaries you can get summaries from any web page and youtube video through ai and this is quite amazing you have the option to choose the short middle or long so as soon as you paste the url click on this it will take around 10 to 20 seconds and then you will get the the summary of that web page for example in this case i pasted this web link and we have uh, the summary available for this i can choose between short middle and long so it's up to you it's quite amazing app which you can also try out on your device keep in mind that this is an open source android app so it's available on the github also available on google play store if you want to download it from google play store you need to purchase it although you can install it from github but you need an open ai key to use this thing so yes links are already available there in the description you can find out that link for more information regarding this you also have the history available so if you choose multiple links to try out to get the summary these will be saved and in the settings app you will see the ultra dark mode option is also present so yes it's quite amazing yes you can check it out in case you want to link as i just mentioned is already available in the description it is an open source android app which you can try out on it guys for sure now let's let's get back quickly get back to our video topic once again having all the customizations in cr Android, we have a similar kind of things although like this from this you might not be able to notice that some features are missing but yes in reality some features might be are missing from here mostly features are present here status bar quick settings lock screen navigation buttons user interface etc move into the miscellaneous options you will see unlimited photo storage which is absolutely useful unlock higher fps in games netflix spoofing and the swipe to screenshot too 
also other spoofing options are also present here like swipe to screenshot etc is not in the spoofing but uh, yes we have status bar customizations avoidable wi-fi icon is also present here i don't think so any feature a normal feature which uh, which is available in most of the custom rooms is missing everything is literally available there some of the features are missing the major features we will talk about that later on it also brings you some header images for example in quick settings panel which are quite impressive for example if i just enabled this this is the quick settings panel image looks like so quick settings panel have a good kind of good amount of images available you can choose your own image i mean if you have one you can choose custom image too but uh, the pre-installed header images are looking good you can choose any one of them and make your quick settings panel look more interesting of course as compared to the previous one or the default one that i use in it also you can customize it to android 11 style which is good not by default android 11 style option Options are not available by default you can customize so or enable that by adjusting the layout etc under display fingerprint sensor if your device supports that these options are also present here for you because i installed c android almost one or two times on my pixel device so yes here we have the under display fingerprint sensor options present here as you can see similar kind of things available there everywhere we do not have anything else to talk about so this is all these were things i just wanted to let you know uh, if you install it you will notice some differences or some features might be missing but most of the things are still available there so link is already available in the description if you like this video don't forget to drop a like thanks for watching